What I love to talk about in my drawing and painting classes, um, you know, here we really, at Northern Essex Community College, we really believe in giving students the skills to be able to recreate what they're looking at. So to draw or paint something representationally in a convincing way and use shading and perspective and all of these things. And then they can, they're figuring out how to, to really look at things. And that's gonna serve them well no matter what they do. You know, the students at Northern Essex Community College are, um, you know, they're, they're really good makers. And this is what I tell people when they ask me about my students, like what, you know, what, if, what are the people like that you work with in your school? And, and, um, and they're proud of what they're making. And, um, and I think that is what creates some sort of passion and drive for them. And so I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to find that sense of motivation in them to, you know, propel them forward with their interests. I didn't take a picture or use a camera until I was 24 years old. And I was a laid off auto worker in the 1980s. So I went to community college. And next thing I knew I was at a bachelor's degree institution a four-year university. I didn't even know what a bachelor's degree was. I was a first-generation college student. And I talk about the pathway for success, uh, starting out at a community college and, and moving on, get their bachelor's degree, get a master's degree, and get into the workforce. Some students are coming straight out of high school and figuring out what they want to do next. Other students may have had um, a whole career, a couple of decades working in a field and want to go back to art. I think that you know many students who are art majors here have you know struggles with other traditional disciplines they've had success with making things and so it's a powerful motivator and so you know so then i try and add some reading and writing into we have a huge variety of students and their income level the their exposure to books you know some many of them are the first in their families to go to college we also have at Northern Essex students with many different learning styles. We have people who have learning disabilities who often are brilliant. These days, it's not enough just to know how to write well, you also have to know how to use a camera. You gotta work, you gotta work hard at this. You have to work hard at art. It's gotta be somewhere in here and then outside of the classroom too. We have a great track record of helping our art students get their portfolios together and meet with representatives from four-year schools that offer BA and BFA degrees. And then they can earn some credits here, save money, and then they can transfer on to other schools. And we've had a lot of success with that. Our students go on to Mass College of Art. They go on to Museum School of Fine Arts, uh, Boston. They go to Art Institute of Chicago. They go on to top universities. So we, all of our faculty, have that uh, goal. Colleges come to us to recruit students. We work on presentation skills and getting up in front of your classmates and expressing your ideas. So it's not just about sitting in you know, your, your own world, and if you can make great stuff, that's great, but I want you to be able to translate it across the different disciplines, be able to, to express yourself in different ways besides just through making. I do find that each of those things informs each other. So even those people who are excellent makers um, will, if they are not used to writing or talking about their work or not comfortable with that, it's still an excellent exercise that then is able to inform their making and you know help them 